Hi, I'm Danielle with Ribbon Storage and welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to be making one of the cards from my Lucky Green card kit. Let's get started. This one is a little unique in that it comes with a cutout. So of course, Lucky Green, I did a four leaf clover. So let's just lay that over, no taping yet, where we're going to have that sit centered on the gray piece of Nina brand cardstock and just trace the outside edges. Basically, we're trying to see how far the four leaf clover is gonna go so that we can cover that with ribbon on our cardstock. So next we'll measure that out and you just need it long enough to cover the pencil and short enough that it won't sneak out past the white uh, four leaf clover cardstock that we're gonna put on there. So see how that covers up the pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and tape as I go. For me, it's a little bit easier to tape it down so that it's in place. I want that, this side in a little bit more, so I'm gonna put that that way. And because this is a plaid, you wanna make sure your lines are all lined up and it's laying just right. Again, you can see why I use the removable tape because it makes it so I can lift it up like that and replace it. Okay, that one's done. Then next I'm going to do, they call this sweet treat. I think they call it that because it looks like a ribbon candy. Remember those ribbon candies you used to get all the time, probably at your grandparents' house. And I just wanna make sure I'm measuring it long enough Right, like that. And I'm gonna tape that one down next. So basically I'm doing the outsides first and then we'll cover the middle up with that chevron. I'll lay that down and tape that in place. Then we'll do our chevron, measure that out. You've obviously found my YouTube channel. So I have the, these detailed tutorials for all 10 of the cards that come in this and all my card kits actually. So if they're not posted yet, they will be soon. Stay tuned. I put out at least a couple of videos every week to show you more detailed how to do these cards. And I'm just gonna trim that off, trim those little stragglers off so that they don't poke out. There we go, tuck that in. Next, this is double-sided paper, so it doesn't matter which side you put the tape on, but just run it all the way around the edge. And I'm just using a quarter inch because it's narrow enough. It lets me get into all the nooks and crannies. And then I'm just gonna put an extra little bit of tape right around my clover here so that it will stick right to that ribbon and keep it in place. a little bit more right there. So center that up. And this is really cool because it gives it that three-dimensional look because of the ribbon that you've got in between. And we're all done with that part. Now go ahead and flip it over. Use our double-sided tape all around the, the outside, all around the edges, and a little bit in the middle. Then we're just going to center that up on our card base. And there you go. How easy was that? Now you've got this beautiful card. I'm sure you know someone that needs a little luck in their life, right? That can use a four leaf clover. Go ahead and put a message in it. Don't save it, send it. 